The saying goes that the best way to learn is to teach. Here, in part three of our series with Dr James Bateman from the Coventry and Warwickshire University Hospitals NHS Trust, we talk about the benefits of encouraging students to develop their own virtual patients. Hearing what you say about capturing the informal vignettes, students making their own virtual patients. After all, they're seeing patients all the time, real patients. I mean, that would be the ethos of, the, of, of sort of Web 2.0, you know, getting the students to generate content. There's a, there's a whole minefield of um, issues about uh, consent with students generating um, cases that could potentially breach patient confidentiality. But I don't think that's the main issue. Students could be encouraged to generate cases based on what they've seen that are separate from what they've seen. Um, and they could learn from each other. Uh, because not cases around um, necessarily a specific patient, but around concepts about things they may have missed, about things they didn't quite understand, and then generating a case that explores if other students have that problem or other students you know, see things in a different way. So really, it would help the students learn from each other, it would help them learn about how they think through these sort of clinical problems. I think it would also stimulate the students to think about um, reading more into an area, so if they were going to generate a case on COPD, that's when they might then review the literature um, and come up with their own sort of ideas about you know, how the case could be generated. I found it a very useful experience um, reviewing um, uh, literature when I've been creating patients. It makes me think, what is the evidence behind what I'm saying? And I need to go and look at it because, you know, I'm writing something and it's important that, that that's correct. I think the students will feel the same way. There's a cliche, and just because it's a cliche doesn't mean it's true, that the best way to learn is to teach. So perhaps this would be a good way for getting students to get a much more integrated um, um, uh, thoughts, set of thoughts around uh, an individual clinical case. You're right. I think that if students have to generate some content they themselves would know if they didn't understand it. So if they're writing about you know, what treatment should be prescribed in a certain area, I think the students would know what they didn't know. It would, it would really prompt them. It, I'm not saying it would force them to go and learn it, but they, I think it would really highlight to them what they don't know, rather than just, it makes them think about the case in a more, in a more focused way. Um, you can't say that it would make the students actually do anything about it, but I think you know it's bringing to their attention um, areas in their knowledge about you know, the pathogenesis or the treatment of a condition that they could then you know then target their interest. And I think if they're interested, they're much more likely to learn. For further information about the EVIT program, please explore the EVIT website. And for news and updates, you can follow us on Twitter on www.twitter.com forward slash virtual patients, or you can even join our Facebook group at www.facebook.com forward slash virtual patients. <laughs>